So on this episode, I'm going to be breaking down a brand new product and going about things analytically, breaking down the prices and saying, well, logically, should you buy this product if you are interested in it? So with that said, let's jump into it. Now the product that I'm going to be talking about on today's episode is the June Super Drop for the Secret Layers. And really quick before we actually jump into the product itself, I want to talk about pricing for Secret Layer cards. For example, as you can see with a card like Cultivate that has been printed in a Secret Layer, it's $4.27 for that card. Whereas for, you know, a regular Cultivate, you can get it as low as $0.40 cents from Corset 2021. So that's essentially, what, 10 times the price? But of course, that's not the case with every Secret Layer card. For example, let's look at a much more expensive card with the Ur Dragon, which has a base price of $57.72. No, I'm not counting the oversized version, just comparing the regular size versions right now. And its Secret Layer drop is $75.22. So while this one isn't 10 times expensive like Cultivate is, this one is, you know, quite a bit more expensive when it comes to actual dollar amounts being $18 more instead of being, you know, $4 more. But then we also have a card like Questing Feldegrip from a Secret Layer drop, and I absolutely love the art on this one. That being said, this is a 46 cent card that is just 88 cents for the Secret Layer drop. So if you're breaking it down analytically and saying, is it worth it to buy this Secret Layer? Monetarily wise, this one would not have provided a lot of value to your overall cost. In fact, basically no value when it comes to actually, you know, if you're going to sell the card trying to ship it, you're not going to make a whole lot of money on this one. Now, obviously, like I said earlier, there are different reasons that different players buy Secret Layers. Some players just like the cards and the art in that Secret Layer. They want to utilize the cards and that's great. Others want to, you know, maybe keep a couple of the cards and sell a couple other ones that they don't really care all that much about but yeah when looking at it in an analytical way does it make sense monetarily wise to buy a secret layer and of course like i just showed you the prices of secret layer card versions definitely vary a ton in how much more valuable they are than the original version so keep that in mind also please 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 i urge you yes there are a lot of products out there but please buy products responsibly Magic can be, for many, a very expensive hobby, and yeah, it's important to manage your budget. But one more thing about this evaluation. So in evaluating this, I'm just going to be utilizing the base versions, and things can vary even more with foil versions, so we're just going to be utilizing the basic versions, non-foil. Here we go. So I'm going to tackle the individual regular secret layer drops first, then I'll talk about the bundle together at the very end. So the first one I'm going to bring up, though, is Special Guest Kellogg Sloops, and my apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. And as you can see, the price for this one is $29.99. Also, keep in mind that, of course, shipping costs do vary on these, but if you buy enough, you know, obviously the shipping is free from the U.S. If you buy over $99, not going to take that into account with the calculation, but just keep that in mind, okay? Regardless, let's start with the first card shown with Mystic Remora, and yeah, this is absolutely incredible art. And again, yes, if you are, you know, just interested in the secret layer without even caring about the actual cost of the cards, great. If you just really like the art, great. But this is more of a analytical breakdown of, you know, how much value are you getting out of this? Mystic Remora is a card that sees a lot of play in Commander, and it is quite expensive these days, around $9.29. So this inclusion is, you know, adding a good amount of value to this secret layer. One that is not adding a good amount of value, though, but it is some pretty fantastic art as well, is Retreat to Coral Helm, which is just an uncommon that is 68 cents. So, yeah, not a whole lot of value there. Moving on, though, one that is adding a ton of value, though, is Burgeoning, which, yes, that's, again, some amazing art on the left. And on the right, you see the regular version, and currently the lowest price regular version is $24.44. So... Nearly the cost of the entire secret layer just in that one card. So it kind of makes up, you know, for Retreat to Color Helm having basically no value added. 
And then the final card that you are getting in this secret layer is Utopia Sprawl, which is a very fantastic card and one that is currently $4.97 with its, you know, recent reprintings and yeah. Five bucks isn't bad, but obviously that's quite a bit below average if you're hoping to get at least, you know, one fourth of your cost out of every single card in this secret layer from that $30. So in general, you'd be hoping for around $7.50 per card. So yeah, this one would be under. Now, obviously some of the other ones make up for that. And now let's take a look at the final price. So again, on its face, the card value that you are getting from the lowest price versions of these cards is going to be $39.38 in total. So just analytically, that obviously is going to be more value than the actual cost of the secret layer. Now, do keep in mind, obviously, like I mentioned, there are other factors. For example, shipping. You do have to pay for shipping to actually get the secret layer. Secondly, if you are going to be selling these cards, if you are doing so online in a marketplace, well, you're going to have to pay for shipping to ship those out as well. Or if you say are selling them to a game store, you might not be getting full price for that card as well. Though again, do keep in mind my examples at the beginning of this episode with those, you know, cards like Cultivate, or Dragon, and, you know, Questing Felligriff to come to mind. Sometimes, you know, certain cards that are in secret layers are, you know, quite a bit more valuable than the regular versions. Generally, they are just, you know, inherently more valuable, but how much more valuable does vary. I mean, I can definitely see Retreat to Coral Helm being, you know, a kind of an example like Questing Felligriff where it's not going to be really all that valuable. So that's kind of a dud within this secret layer. Now, obviously, if you just love these cards and like the art, great. But again, on this episode, I'm going to be breaking things down analytically to say how much value are you actually getting out of this or how much estimated value might you be getting. But now let's move on to the next drop. And that would be the rule of room drop. And again, the price is the exact same at $29.99 for the regular version. You're going to be seeing a pattern here with that. First up, how about Arcanus the Omnipotent, one of my favorite cards from my childhood. I absolutely love tapping and drawing three cards. And yeah, currently though, although Arcanus can provide you a great amount of value in a game of Commander, it is just $1.07. and It has been reprinted a couple of times. So again, this one is not going to be providing you pretty much any bang for your buck in the secret layer. You know, unless the actual no secret layer version is like 10 times the actual price. You know, which could happen, but I'm not counting on it. So again, with on average wanting these cards to be around $7.50, this one is quite a bit under. Next up, how about Queen Marchesa? And that is some fantastic art, but currently this card is $4.05. So again, underneath that $7.50 mark. Though do keep in mind that, you know, when it comes to these secret lair drops, when they are commanders, that might have an impact. And, and yes, I know Arcanus is actually a commander as well, but it is nowhere near as popular as something like Queen Marchesa. So yeah, a popular commander, secret layer drop, that one can definitely have an impact on the individual card price. But again, for these calculations, I'm just taking into account the lowest price version of the card. So again, $4.05. Moving on, another commander that really doesn't see any play as a commander. How about Bermaz, King of Arescos? Yeah, I think on EDH rec, it's around like 100 decks or so. I mean, obviously it sees play outside of it being just a commander, but still, currently this card, though, is the value card out of this secret layer at $17.62. To my knowledge, this one hasn't seen a reprint, and yeah, I can give you a lot of value, but still, yeah, it is making up quite a bit for, you know, the under-costed card, or should I say, you know, not very high value card like Arcanus in the secret layer drop. And finally, we've got Savra, Queen of the Golgari, which, again, doesn't really see all that much play as a commander, and this one really isn't all that expensive either at just $3.03. So again, quite a bit under that $7.50 average. So if you noticed, yeah, quite a bit of the cards in the secret layer drop three out of the four are underneath that $7.50 average. Quite a bit under, in fact. So the overall value for this secret layer is just estimated at $25.77. Which, of course, is less than you're actually even paying for the secret layer, not even including the shipping cost. Now, again, like I mentioned, obviously, the, you know, prices of the actual secret layer cards themselves can vary pretty widely. And, you know, a popular, you know, commander like Queen Marchesa might command a much higher price than the actual base value version of the card. But yeah, on its face, just look at the numbers. Yeah, you're going to be paying more for the secret layer than the base level versions of these cards that you'd be getting.
Moving on though, next up let's talk about Artist Series Vulcan Baga, and the regular edition is, well you guessed it, $29.99. So again, yeah, you're going to be seeing that quite a bit. First up, how about Elspeth Knight Errant, and my apologies, I'm not sure why this was the only image in this entire thing I believe that actually came out grainy when I found it, but here it is! Still, you can still see that the art's actually very fantastic, it's just a bit grainy. Anyways, this card itself though, for the base level version of it, is $11.19. So again, above that average that we're looking for at $7.50. Next up though, some more fantastic art with Patron Wizard, and uh, this one actually takes away from our value just a bit at $4.56. So, so again, yeah, this one is about $3 underneath the average. But making up for that and then some, we've got Berserk, which is a $30 card. $30.83 for the base version to be exact. And again, some really sweet art with that one, and, and yeah, this is a high-value card out of these secret layers. And finally, we've got Verdurn Enchantress, and actually the lowest price version I was able to find was actually from way back in 1995 with the one that you see on the right, and that one is currently listed at $4.58, so again, underneath our average. So this secret layer is kind of split on value, two of the cards are underneath that average, two are above, and one is incredibly above, so let's take a look at the price. So the amount of estimated value in this secret there comes out at $51.16, and yeah, over half that value comes with Berserk. So again, if you are paying $29.99, you're getting around $21 of extra value, you know, again, not including shipping and just including the base version price of the card. That being said, obviously this is the highest value that we've seen so far on these secret layers. Next up, how about the Artist Series of Livia Prima, and you want to guess how much the uh, regular version is? Um, yeah, you can see on the screen, but yeah, $29.99, just like all the other ones. First up, we've got a Chroma Angel of Wrath, and yeah, that is some absolutely incredible art, and uh, yeah, this one, though, is only $2.11 for the base version of the card. So, quite a bit under that average value of $7.50. Now, one that is quite a bit over that average value, though, is Micaeus the Unhallowed, again, with some absolutely awesome art. And Micaeus the Unhallowed is currently a $19.74 card, nearly 20 bucks itself, just for the base version, the most affordable version being the list version that you see here, and yeah, quite a bit over that average. But then, taking a massive step down in value, we've got Glissa Sunseeker, which is just a $1.40 card. And actually, I probably should mention this, all of these are legendary creatures, and yet none of them, at least that we've seen so far, are really heavily played as commanders, though. That being said, Micaeus does see a good amount of play itself, but yeah, Glissa, definitely not. And finally, with slightly more value than Glissa, Olivia mobilized for war, again with some incredible art, but uh, the current cost of the base version of this card is just $2, so quite a bit underneath that average. So, though Micaeus does pull up the overall value of the secret layer pretty much on its own, again, Micaeus is like $20, the others are like $2, $2, and $1, this secret layer obviously is quite a bit less value than the previous one, and one of the least that we've seen so far at an estimated cost of $25.25 .25 worth of value. Now again, obviously, if you just really want, you know, the art versions of these cards, great, but if you're looking for value, this isn't one of them. But now let's move on to the next one with Artist Series Chris Ron. And who knew? It's also $29.99 for the regular version. First up, we've got Primeval Titan. That's right, Prime Time with some brand new art. And the base version of this card is from M12, and it is $4.85. So again, with four cards in the secret layer, underneath that average of $7.50 per card. And of course, if you're a Commander player, keep in mind that obviously this one is banned in Commander. So yeah. Regardless, next up we've got Huntmaster of the Fells, and of course on the back side there's Ravager of the Fells, and the base version of Huntmaster of the Fells is $10.05, so a little bit over that average value. And I guess technically I should point out with this secret layer, you are kind of getting like five arts, you know, versus four, because you know, you get the front back, but still just four cards. You know what I mean. Regardless, next up we've got Platinum Angel, and yeah, I love that art. That is, is kind of like demonic and creepy, but also like... Angelic? I don't know. There, there's a lot going on there. 
But yeah, um, $10.15 is the cost of the base version of Platinum Angel. So again, basically right around the same lines as Huntmaster of the Fells, and yeah, you're getting some additional value out of this one. But speaking of value, the highest price card out of the base versions for this secret layer is Kozlek the Great Distortion. Inexpensive Eldrazi, go figure. But yeah, $16.80 is what you are getting out of Kozlek's base version. So more than two times the average that we would expect from a card in a secret layer like this one. So at the end of the day, the estimated value that you're getting from the base versions of these cards is $41.85. So about, you know, $12 or so more than the actual cost of the secret layer. Again, not including shipping, etc, etc, etc. So out of the secret layers that we've seen so far, I believe that is the second most value. Regardless, we do have one more secret layer to talk about, and this one is a little different. Because this one is the Tokyo Lands, and though you are getting five cards instead of four, it is one of each basic land. Now, with that said, it's kind of interesting when you talk about the actual, you know, value potential out of these cards. And actually, again, you know, for, for buying five basic lands, you are paying the exact same cost as all the other ones at $29.99 for the regular version. Now, obviously the art is fantastic and I'm sure a lot of players out there are gonna be very excited about these, but that being said, when you are comparing these to the, you know, base version of the actual cards, the base version are basic lands, which obviously, you know, are like, you know, five cents a piece. I, I don't know, I typically buy my basic lands in bulk. So yeah, they are quite cheap. So yeah, even just assuming, you know, five cents uh, for each of the cards, that is what, 25 cents worth of, you know, estimated value, technically, which obviously is nowhere near, you know, the $29.99 that you're paying for these five lands. That being said, historically, let's look at some other secret layer drops that are similar. First up, how about one of the Kaldheim secret layer drops with the brutal basic lands with an estimated value of $57.09. So again, although, you know, the cost of just five basic lands is generally like, you know, 25 cents, obviously players are paying up for these. The same can obviously be said for the Dracula lands with a card value of $45.43. So not quite as much as the Brutal lands, but still, you know, a decent amount of value there. Or how about the one with the most value out of the ones that I'm highlighting with shades not included at $63.09 of estimated card value. So yeah, obviously, although technically, you know, the base versions of these cards are, you know, five cents a piece, people do pay up for them. But yeah, who knows at the end of the day what the Tokyo lands are going to be valued at. That being said, let's look at the non-stop non-foil bundle. Again, we highlighted all the regular versions of these, and if you are going to bundle all these together, Technically, you know, if you're buying them individually, you'd be paying $179.94. They cut off a little bit of that price to be $148.99 for the overall price of all of these. And, and of course, if you are in the US, then you would get the shipping free. Now, that being said, what is the estimated value that you are getting out of this? Because again, like I've highlighted, some of these, yes, you do get more value than you are, you know, paying technically for the base versions. But then with other ones, you are not. Now, this estimated cost does not include those basic lands in this because, again, that is a very, very high variable factor. But yeah, the estimated cost for the actual cards that I talked about outside those basics is $183.41 for those base versions of all of them. And go figure, Wizards kind of, you know, had that cost just right around what the actual cost, you know, would be if you bundled them all together, you know, the $179.94. There's a slight discount, you know, with this bundle again at 148. So yeah, to ever think that they don't look at the secondary market, well, that's pretty inaccurate in my opinion. Again, overall, obviously, if you are buying the bundle, again, some parts of that bundle aren't going to be worth as much as others. But again, at the end of the day, you know, if you just happen to like the arts of some of these and you're responsibly buying these, great, buy the ones that you want to buy. But I hope this more analytical look of breaking down, you know, the base versions of the cards and what those cost and how much potential value you might be getting out of them has helped you as well. And with that, the show has come to a close, so it's my turn here from you. So in the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this episode are, and as always, thanks again and have a good one.
This show and episodes like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. If you're looking for an easy way to help support this show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any new episodes. You can also go check out our playmats and other merchandise at thecommandersquarters.com. We also have a ton of brand new t-shirt designs in stock, so make sure you check out those as well. Another easy way to support this show is with our TCG Player affiliate links. So whether you're buying a deck or individual cards, you can use this general link right here or one in the description. And the final way that you can support this show is by supporting us directly by becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron, and I truly couldn't do this without all of their support.